What's good, what's nice? It's your boy Was coming at you with another Apex Legends video. Now, today's video, we'll be talking about Mirage's heirloom, a possible lifeline buff, and then we'll also talk about Cryptos and Bloodhound new passive. Now, if you guys new around here, I just hit 7k! And I want to say thank you, Was Nation. You guys are the greatest, and it really means so much to me that we finally hit 7,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Uh, it don't stop here. But yeah, if you're new around here, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment down below what do you think Mirage's heirloom will be. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Since Season 5 has started, Mirage has been getting a lot of love. If you guys have been living under a rock, Mirage has gotten one of the biggest buffs I've ever seen in Apex Legends. And on top of that, he's getting an heirloom this season, which is amazing because a lot of Mirage mains, y'all had it rough. Now the question is, what will this heirloom be? Now, a lot of people suggest it's a mirror. Now here's a concept from um, a Reddit post. A lot of people think it will be a mirror. A lot of people are talking about pork chops and sandwiches. And honestly, we don't know. We, we have no idea. Like with... Pathfinder, I won't lie, I'm so slow. I said, oh, it's going to be a wrench. Why would it be a wrench? You know what I'm saying? It was end up Rock'em Sock'em Robot. Now, with Mirage, I have no idea what they'll do. The way his his attitude is just goofy and funny, I don't know. They might give him a squeaky toy or a clown mask or something. But I don't know. I'm excited to see a Mirage heirloom. I'm excited for all the legends to get their heirlooms. But let's talk about this Lifeline possible buff. So lead game designer Carlos Pineda has went to Twitter and gave us some insight on what the game developers think about Lifeline at the moment. And this is what he had to say. Lifeline is in a complicated spot. Despite the claims that she is in dire need of a buff, the data says she remains top tier across the different categories, pick rate, win rate, and KDR. But I get it. Everyone wants her to be unique, and I agree. She lost uh, some of her shine due to other legends buff, but we can't straight up add power to her. That would drive her even higher in those metrics. So we're not going to talk about Gibby's 360 healing and his ultimate. Okay. Anyways, what we're really looking for is side grade. We want her to be different from other legends without necessarily adding power. The kind of design is much harder than just cranking numbers or even just adding a new thing she can do. So be patient. We're working on it. But it is a difficult problem. In the meantime, you can feel better about picking Lifeline knowing you're still in good hands. So my opinion on this tweet about Lifeline, I don't think she's going to get a buff. And I don't understand why. Because, But I guess I do. Because the metrics they're going by are terrible. Like pick rate, win rate, KDR, stuff like that. Those are rates from people that actually play the game a lot. Those aren't casual people. You feel me? Those are like pro players that probably got like 50,000 kills on Lifeline. They probably been main in Lifeline since like season one. You know what I'm saying? So this is my opinion, right? Lifeline does need a rework. And I feel like you shouldn't base whether she should get a rework off of the ability. I mean, the, 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 the metrics, pick rate, ruin rate, KDR, when you have an entire community telling you guys lifeline needs help because now with this latest update you really kind of just made lifeline the worst in her own position she's a combat medic that can't even heal her team think about that she's a combat medic that can't even heal her team she serves no purpose to the team yes she got fast heals Yes, it's better now that they switched the gold shield around. Now she got fast heals. Okay, sweet. That's selfish. Oh, uh, she got a drone. You got to stand still to do it. Oh, she got a care package. What you going to get? A 10 times digi threat? <laughs> like a 10 times gold digi threat for a sniper? That's She's she's useless now to the point where it's it's ridiculous. And honestly, um, Mr. Panita, Panita Bread, uh, I'm not roasting you. I like you a lot and I love your game. But, um... Please really reconsider this. Think about getting her an update. I know everybody keeps saying they want Dummies Big Day update. I don't think that's it. Maybe the maybe her drone can automatically give you like 25% health, but like or 50 health, but only to one teammate or something like that. And it has like a cooldown of like 35 seconds, so it's not abused. But um, I just feel like this is the wrong way to go about it. I feel like you're 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 getting to the point now where you're not 
I don't feel like you're not listening to the community. So, cause now you, you, it's like Lifeline was good at first. And then you took all her good qualities and you gave them to other characters as in Gibby and Mirage. So it's like, now it's like the only reason I use Lifeline is for fast heals. If I main her, I'm not maining her for the help of the team. So, I mean, to, to be a combat medic and to not help your team, that's just crazy. Now, if you guys look at these clips, these are clips of Bloodhound and Crypto using the Survey B. And now, I know you guys probably know, like, they've been teasing this for, a, um, like, a few months, way before Season 5 started. But we have actual animations now of Crypto and Bloodhound using them. Me, personally, I don't think that it's fair. But, you know you know respond it's in you guys ball court so i hope this works out you already nerfed pathfinder his only passive was the ability the ability to use the survey beacon you take that away from him, you take his grapple away from him what more are you going to take from him you're going to give freaking um loba the ability to call you zip lines now like <laughs> like it's dope that they can use it but now i'm curious on what passive are you going to get pathfinder and will it even be worth it like will it even be a nice passive because the ability to have position on other teams was the dope part about being pathfinder you already you always knew where the ring was at so i don't know you let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below uh like i said it's awesome it's dope i like it but i think just being as a pathfinder main i feel like he better get a nice little passive update or if not it's going to be complete trash now, we may be getting mobile respawn beacons pretty soon. Um, there's not really much info on it, but they did add some audio files into this latest patch. And they may bring it for season six. So that'd be interesting to see how they had to change up the meta, the ability to respawn a teammate from anywhere. But I am curious on how you will be able to get this, this mobile beacon. So I don't know. It may be a new legend that has the ability to do this or we don't know. We'll find out soon. But... There you have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more Apex content, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.